Welcome to this video, folks. This one's all about Clint Eastwood, the iconic filmmaker and his work. This book is a beautiful art book. Well, actually, it's not strictly an art book. There's lots of photos in it. It's more of a storybook. It's a history book. It's all about Clint Eastwood, his emergence as, first of all, an actor um, and then a filmmaker, a director. It comes in a beautiful slipcase edition. It's hardcover with a really sturdy slipcase as well. It's part of a series of books by this uh, publisher based on filmmakers. They've done other ones uh, on artists like Wes Anderson, um, Tim Burton, I think there's a Quentin Tarantino one. And actually this is the first one in the series I've looked at so I'm quite mindful now that this is great stuff and I want to track down some of the other books in this series uh, and own and, and possibly review those too. But anyway, back to Clint Eastwood. What's fascinating about this book for me is it sort of focuses on both his work early on as uh, an actor uh, and there's lots of films in here where he's kind of uh, not credited, uncredited actor. So he's starring in them, but he's not actually appearing on the credits early on. And then basically in the sort of 70s, he starts to not only uh, star in films, but direct his own films too. And arguably he's better known in, in 2023 as a director than an actor. Uh, some people may want to argue with me about that. But this book anyway covers all of the history of his emergence, uh, his body of work it focuses on. Quite a few of his iconic films, things like The Unforgiven, for example, uh, and The Outlaw Josie Wales. And it tells the story behind kind of his input into those. Um, so, yeah, it's a great book. It's by Ian Nathan. It's unofficial and unauthorised, it says on the cover. It's beautifully produced and it's a real gem for any Clint Eastwood fans or people who are just interested in kind of the movie industry, uh, direction, filmmaking in general. So as I said in the contents page, the book covers um, specific films. So there's a whole sort of chapter on the outlawed Josie Wales, for example, um, or, or there's one on Forgiven. Um, there's a section to begin with on the early years. Then there's a bit specifically when he starts to emerge as a director. The thing that strikes me when I'm looking through is just how um, how many films he's been in and how many films he's directed. He's been around a long time. You know, he's in his 90s now. Um, I don't know if he's still directing. He certainly was as recently as 2019. Um, there's lots of other interesting stuff in here that I did not know. So, for example, he's a jazz aficionado. And it says um, that he's never more at home than when seated at a piano. And he sort of performs at the Monterey Jazz Festival, apparently. He's got an amazing collection of photographs as well. Some high quality photographs of him on set, both acting and directing. You'll notice as you're looking through, there's loads of photos of the stars that he's rubbed shoulders with over the years, the other directors, Spielberg mentioned in here, loads of other different actors as well. And what I really like at the beginning is when it's talking about his kind of early years, it's there's some movie posters of films like Revenge of the Creature, which looks like a total B movie. Uh, apparently, you know, he's not mentioned, his name's not on the poster, but he is an uncredited actor in that, that particular film and others. Um, so it's a really nice book. Um, if you didn't know much about Clint Eastwood, then this will open your eyes. If you did, then I'm sure there's stuff in here, facts and information that you perhaps aren't aware of because it goes into a lot of detail. Uh, and it's just a really interesting book uh, about this talented Hollywood star.
thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do. And hopefully we will see you next time for another episode. Bye for now.